Hello, welcome to this clip in which we want to talk about documentation. Now, it's very, very important that you keep a good record of the information that is contained in your Excel sheet because that makes your analysis more transparent. So imagine you came back to a data set after a couple of weeks or even only a couple of days or sometimes even hours. Will you still be able to know what you put in? Now, the moment that you put in the data, it seems obvious to you, but that becomes more obscure as time goes by. So a good documentation is absolutely vital to keep a good record, to make your analysis transparent and to facilitate your write-up process when you describe what your data is, where it came from and how you process this. So um, how can you do that? Well, I always do it in Excel um, and I use the worksheets to do that. So the worksheet that we're currently in is sheet one. And remember from the first few clips um, where we talked about the file structure, document structure, uh, you can add more sheets down here with this little plus. So one of the first things that I do is that I rename my data sheet, um, master or data or whatnot. So I always keep the data separate from any kind of analysis and any kind of um, documentation. And then I add a sheet that says uh, documentation and here I just put in whatever information I want to keep for a later for uh, the write-up or, you know, just to keep things transparent. Uh, so I would say, um, would insert information on the query. And I know this query was something about cause, causes, uh, caused and causing. Um, the corpus was um, the brown corpus. I queried it in Concor, I queried it in uh, AntConc, and then I exported it. Um, and then I would probably also include information on the corpus uh, version. So which version of the brown corpus am I using and so on and so forth. So um, you can you can just use that for notes relatively randomly. Um, but yeah, that should be um, um, always done to uh, keep an overview. The other thing is that we have added a lot of information in terms of columns, and that's also very important that you know what these are. And here I would probably add a sheet that would say uh, variables. And here I put information on all the variables that I use in my data sheet. So um, in this case, um, I'm, I can just copy uh, the header names. Right, so that's um, command shift, right arrow, um, command copy. And then I put the variables in here and I paste them now as follows, a right click, paste special. And now I wanna transpose them. Uh, what happens? Well, if you, if you just hit uh, command V to paste, it would just put them in the row, but I uh, tend to put them in, uh, in the column here and then I probably just don't want that formatting that uh, um, let's get rid of that I just click in a cell um, that is empty and then click on that copy format button and go across here right so that's just get rid of the color not important right and then I would say okay what's that's the variable or well, let's add um, a header to that so we'd say column and then with some, some kind of a description, perhaps. So the column number is the number of hit in, oops, hit in the concordancer. So that's something that came out of AntConc. The file ID is um, the location of the hit. All right, or the corpus file. Um, the field that was the general um, genre or larger genre. The genre was basically the standard genre that we had uh, there. Rank, that's the position of the hit in my randomization. Left is the left context, match and left, oh, that's actually match and right, but that's your 
um, match plus uh, right context. And then for the annotation, that is uh, the word class of the hit. And because that is now not just some information, but some um, variable that has different levels, I then also would, uh, in addition to the tr uh, description, would also um, keep a documentation of the values, um, which in this case, a word class, we entered either a verb or a noun. That kind of information is also helpful if you want to keep a documentation of your coding scheme. So for every uh, variable that you have, for every column that you annotate, also make sure that you have a record of the different um, uh, values of that variable. Um, so to perhaps to keep your annotation constant, your coding constant across a full data set or across multiple days. So this way you can keep everything together. You avoid a bit to have a multiple separate files. You can add as many sheets as you want. And as we do analyses, we also include other sheets for um, cross tabulation uh, to make graphs and so on and so forth.